Hey there everyone, this is NoDMAA here coming at you with another deck profile on my Blue Army Mon Turbo deck, Improved. Uh, before I talk about the improvements I made on the deck though, let me remind y'all or let you all know for the first time in case you don't know about my giveaway contest on, my two, on these two starter decks. Um, I found them at Target and decided to give them away once I reach 100 subscribers. So go to my Attack on Target number 3 video if you want to enter and tell me what your favorite Digimon is and why and make sure you like and subscribe to the video as well. That's all you need to do to enter the contest to win those decks. Yeah. Alright, now let's talk about the Omimon deck. So, Omimon's still at 4. I just got a new alt art though, so I'm going to show that off for a sec. Alt art. So, maybe the deck will get better just because there's an alt art in there. I haven't actually test played this deck yet, but I wanted to show off what I, what I improved on it. Then I run 1 Volcano Dramon. This wasn't in the deck before, it should have been. Uh, this card's really good. It gets plus 1 security, and then when you on play it, you can kill any Digimon with 4,000 or less power, so it kills Rookie Rush. And you can Digivolve into Omnimon through him. Then I run 3 Metal Garurumon. He's really good. I got an alt art of the Metal Garurumon here as well, and when he attacks, you can play out a level 4 lower Digimon from your stack. So he's pretty good to build board. He's amazing. And then when you pair him with the Garurumon, he can stand back up and keep swinging. Oh man, he's good. Or please, Oman. He's just the cheap Digivolution to get you Omnimon faster, so that's why I run four of that. <clears throat> All right, next ultimates. I put in the Zudomons. I run two. He's pretty good on play. Draw two, and then Inheritable. When you swing, you gain a memory if your opponent has no Digivolution, has Digimon with no Digivolutions. So that's pretty good. Three Monsimon. I upped it by one. I was running two before, but now I'm running three because I've been I bricked a couple times and I, on the ultimate area, so I really didn't make sure I don't brick in that department. Then three Wergarumon. Uh, inheritable is you gain plus one security if uh, you if your opponent has a Digimon without Digivolutions. It's pretty good. All right, champions. Two Garurumon. I was running four, but I cut it by two because I realized I don't he's not really needed at four. But he's good on play you can unsuspend one of your Digimon. So that's pretty good. That saved me a couple times with Puppetmon. That and you just keep swinging offensively as well. Four Gorilla Mon, cheap drop. I mean not cheap drop, cheap Digivolution. He's strong, he's good, he gets you to Omnimon faster. And then four blocker, you know, blocker. Rookies, I up the rookie count too, so it's up to 14 instead of 12. I run for Gabumon. On play, draw one, so he's pretty good. For Lekmon, cheap drop. Two Gomamon, cheap drop as well. And then four of the gain one memory inheritable Gomamon. Pretty good. That's where I changed up some more stuff. Four Hammer Spark, gain a memory when you play it, pretty good. Then I took out my Gaia Force TIE Engine and decided just to run more Coitus Breath, run Coitus Breath instead, because it guarantees that I can use it. With Gaia Force and TIE, I really couldn't get it consistent enough. Like, sometimes Gaia Force was a dead draw. I know I mentioned this in the previous Blue on Mon Turbo video, so I was already kind of seeing it. It just took a few more games for me to realize that, yeah, I really need to take this out. It's not consistent enough for me to, like, use Gaia Force. And at least with Coitus Breath, I can, uh, at least use it when I, like, it's not that draw. I can at least use it. So that's something. And then, babies. One Wanamon and four Upamon. Upamon is good, and so is Wanamon. Um, some people just run Upamon to guarantee that. I run the fifth just to have a fifth in case I need to... Digivolve, you know, rebuild. That's literally the only reason. Like, and getting Wanamon as a baby is not the uh, end of the world, you know. So yeah, that's um, that's my new and improved Blue Omnimon Turbo. Like, I'm really enjoying playing around with Omnimon, especially with Set Five coming in late 2021. So I'm pretty excited. Like, this deck's fun. Like. Well, you know, it's 
fun in the sense that it's powerful. It's not like fun like I can do crazy stuff, you know? Like Omnimon itself is just powerful. It's fun powerful. Like I feel I it's fun being strong sometimes. Like being able to play Omnimon is great. Like I'm not going to pretend otherwise. It's fun. But yeah, that's my build. Um thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to the video and Make sure to check out my Attack on Target 3 video if you want to enter my contest to get these decks. So that's all I got for you. I'll see you all next time.